okay so you have now a game so this is a bayesian game there are n players they have strategies xi utilities ui and types ti okay so this 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 and the this is the prior probability with which the types occur okay this is a, a prior probability of occurrence of types so in other words nature chooses chooses uh, t in t with probability probability p of t okay and uh, this we will assume is greater than 0 so that we can freely divide and all that now the, here it's okay because this is part of the problem definition right uh, in in mediation there is no such necessity that you have to give everything a positive probability it may be that it's bad. you may actually want to stick to a certain certain set of strategies or profiles only okay okay so now what is mediated so again we'll look at mediated communication in this case okay so you take mediated communication in this case so now players have private information okay so because the game is of incomplete information players are being born with various types all right so so mediator now asks mediator asks each player for its type okay this is the first step then based on the types that have been received so suppose the mediator receives uh, types t1 to tn these are the received types he, he recommends action recommends actions x which is x1 to xn with probability mu of x given t right okay now so this mu which maps your t to delta of x this is your mediation plan Now, what is the payoff that a player I would get when his true type is Ti and the mediation plan mu has been chosen? What would be this payoff? This would be, can you help me write this out? So, an action profile x has been chosen with probability t, uh, pro with probability mu of x given t, okay. Now, player I will get a payoff u ui of x given t from from that when the true types profile is t and right? the type profile of all players is t but he only knows his own type profile right which is ti sorry he only knows his type which is ti so so here i am what i need to do is take sum this over all x because those that's the there's an expectation over the actions that are chosen and some also over the types of the other players because you don't know what you don't know the types of his or the other players right you, you know your own type and you, uh, so you sum over the types of the other player okay so this is the play, payoff a player would receive okay so let's clear, get this clear this is the payoff that the player received when the mediation plan is mu okay his own type is is ti all right and uh, types of other players are t minus i correct but there is something more see why did i so i have a t minus i here in this probability why because that is the type of the other players all right that is the probability with which the types of the other players have been realized there is a t minus i sitting here also in as part of this t this here remember this what what you have here this remember is the reported type and this is the true type true type 
occurs with probability p of d minus i given t i and that will affect your utility. But the mediator is going to recommend an action based on reported types. Is this clear? So, this is the payoff that players would receive if they true if all players report their types truthfully uh, and the player knows his own type and the mediator chooses a mediation plan mu. Is this clear? If players had chosen some uh, had reported some other types then that is what would appear here. It would not appear here because this is in fact their true type but it would appear here because the mediator would choose actions based on reported types. Is this clear? Okay. So, this remember is the reported type. This here is the true type. So, we are actually assuming that these are equal. Yeah. Okay. So, this is the payoff under plan mu when players report types truthfully and player i knows his own type ti ok. So, he has come to know his own type ti he does not know the types of the others and the types have been reported truthfully and the mediation plan mu is under process ok is being used then this is the payoff that he can expect. All right. So, now this is obviously now hinting at a very important issue right. One is we had a question of obedience earlier which was there uh, before this, but there is uh, which we saw in the case of a correlated equilibrium, but now there is also another issue which is the issue of lying right. Players may misreport their types ok. So, players so, so the, 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 the mediation plan is suggesting is recommend recommending you an action x. So, so players can do and uh, the, but the mediation plan itself is is based on types that you have reported that players have reported ok. So, so players can deviate from this plan players can uh, can deviate in two diff in two ways one is misreport their types and two they can disobey recommendations right. So, let us once again we will follow the same sort of template of analysis and this was pioneered by Meyerson it is uh, it is really uh, incredible how, how uh, you know how nicely this whole thing falls falls in place. So, what is happening here essentially what we need is that so to so think of it this think of the problem of designing a mediation plan ok. If you wanted to design a mediation plan you have to tell players what to uh, what to do but then what you need to tell them depends on what they tell you right. It becomes this guy it becomes a very complicated it just seems impossibly complex that how could you tell someone what they do where, what to do when when they are in fact they could in fact lie right. Fundamental to all of this is is this idea of what is called the revelation principle ok. Revelation principle essentially says that you can uh, you can bring this all down to players revealing their tribes truthfully and then obeying whatever you say. Now, there is actually revelation principle technically deals with something much uh, much more complicated. You could uh, you can in fact here I have asked players to I have said you can just reveal their types. Why do they ask them their types they can you can ask them something else also right. So, imagine for example, if your type is let us say uh, let us say what talent you have ok some musical talent let us say ok. Now, in I could ask you something as a function of that. For example, I can ask you to sing something that that will that is a function of of your musical talent or some or ask you to uh, you know perform or or something else which can be derived from that from that. 
so this actually leads to the following so as part of our designing a mediation plan you have to you know if you think about it that way you have to not just worry about players lying you have to also worry about what exactly am i should, supposed to ask them what is it that i should ask them and then based on which means what is the space of signals that come from the player to you right and then using that then i have to recommend an action okay so take auctions for example the issue, the essential thing that a player uh, that each buyer the his type is how much he values that item but should i di directly ask him what how much he values it and that maybe he will lie based on that and then decide based on that you know who gets the item and and so on that's uh, basically recommend recommend actions based on that or maybe should i ask them something more indirect use that to then decide who, who should be uh, what action should be uh, recommended to the players and it's not it, it's not at all obvious sometimes it may feel that ask doing something indirect can actually help you get uh, you know help you implement things better but so but the revelation principle basically says that i mean doesn't matter okay doesn't matter you can ask if whatever you wanted to execute with uh, with something uh, with uh, with a um, uh, with with a with an indirect signal can also be executed with a direct signal okay so essentially this is uh, the the key idea is is essentially a generalization of what we have seen already here in uh, in where there was just one way communication from the mediator to the, okay so now there is going to be two way communication and the uh, the incentive compatibility type requirements that will be there will impose that it is in players interest to report that to uh, to to a obey and also to report their true types okay the next thing we will see is uh, once again this kind of mediation simulates any outcome of any communication system in which players report uh, send in their types maybe truthfully maybe li by lying and then that communication system then recommends action Re sends messages and from messages you get actions okay so so this kind of mediation once again uh, 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 simulates any pre play communication with players having private information as well all right okay so we are just building towards the revelation principle so now essentially to in order to do that um, we have so players could deviate in these two ways as i said now each mu induces a game in which so each mute induces a game in which each player must choose a type to report and a deviation plan from report uh, from recommended action so let's write gamma i then so this is so he reports a type si and he has a deviation plan delta i okay so si is now in is is in ti right and delta i is takes the reported action and produces another action okay the payoff then from now so this we need to write out carefully okay i want to see if you can so the payoff is now for a for this for this game with these uh, for the game with these this set of strategies now okay so players will play s comma delta all right and they would have they have types t okay for a given s delta and t what would be the payoff so this nothing a player i does not know his type as yet okay this is just for a for a profile of types 
for a profile of S uh, reported types and for a profile of deltas, what is the payoff? So, let us write this. So, ui which is his utility, now utility is going to come from what? He is going to take come from the action that he actually chooses. What is the action that he chooses? Delta of x where x is the action that comes from the mediation plan, right. So, so the mediation plan is going to suggest a profile of actions to the players that is this. Now, what is this mediation plan? What is this action suggested based on? Based on reported types which so I need to so reported types s. So, so I have s here not t ok. So, you have delta 1 of x 1 till delta n of x n all right. And then this is did I have what notation did I have given right here given given what s or t given t where this is now the true true type profile right. So, let us put a given here ok and the sum is over x and n ok. So, this is basically now a, a game uh, of incomplete information parameterized by mu with this payoff ok and this being the strategies and these being the types ok. So, so this is so this is a Bayesian game. with types T i and uh, strategies gamma i all right. Ok. So, now let us let me ask you this. So, then if all other players are honest and obedient ok. So, they do not lie about their types and they obey the, ac the recommendations that are been made by the mediator what is the payoff that player i would get if he reports a certain type and has a certain deviation plan okay so we need to basically ask this question because this is the essential question of obedience or whatever right so so what is the payoff that player so let's call this ui star so this is this is here i'm writing the payoff of player i from reported reported type s i deviation plan delta i when all others are truthful. and obedient ok. So, let us write this. So, what is this going to be a function of now? It is going to be a, it will depend on the mediation plan ok. And uh, so, when he when we are talking of reporting type s i all right ok. I, so, this is and let me put this more. So, uh, since we are talking of reported type s i this is when he comes to know his own type okay. when he knows his own own type. So, the S i itself has to be reported based on his own type right. Yeah. So, we need ok. So, this will be a function of now mu which is the mediation plan wo to hai, ok. It will be a function of player i's player i's uh, reported type S i ok it will be a it will a function of the deviation plan delta i and given this is given his own own type t i ok when he is once he has come to know his own type. So, when he comes to know his own type he has to pick a, a reported type ok all right. So, what is this let us write this. So, first let us write out the payoff what is player i doing? So, let ok let us write first uh, recommended action ok. So, your recommended action x actually I need more space here. So, so let us write a recommended action x action has been recommended based on what and so action is recommended based on the types of 
reported types of all players. So player i is reporting si, t minus i, si comma t minus i, others are reporting t minus i, okay, all right. Now based on this what action is being chosen, now, ui, uh, delta i of x i, okay, which is, so that is being recommended based on what is, uh, th that is the action he takes based on what has been recommended to him, okay. What are the, what are the other guys playing? X minus i, they are, for, they are obedient, right. So, they are, they are playing what has been recommended to them, okay. Given the true types of all players, so this is given t, all right. So, now I need to uh, do some averaging. So, first is I have a sum over the recommended, recommended actions. So, you have sum of x and x. He also comes to know his own type, right, which is ti. So, what does he know about the types of the others? P t minus i given t i, right. So, he just, he knows that the other types have been realized with this probability. So, I need to also do this. Is this fine? So, this is the payoff player i gets when he reports his his type as si, when his true type is ti and has a deviation plan delta i and all others obey and report through their types truthfully, alright. So, now we have once again the, the incentive compatibility constraints. Incentive compatibility. constraints again demands what should it demand in terms of our notation. So, on the right I need to have the what he gets when others obey but he does not all right. So, when that is just this u star i what do I have on the left? Do I have this when everyone obeys, which was which was this one, right? So, payoff under plan view when players report their types truthfully and actually I forgot to write here and obey. I'll take the recommended actions. Okay. Okay, so so here, so what I have on the left then is ui of mu given ti. So what you have on the left here, is this is when everyone obeys and everyone is truthful, when all players obey and all are truthful and this here is when, when all but player i obey and are truthful. Okay. So, this inequality what this needs to hold for what? For all something you know. What is the for all? Yes, for all types that he could report and for all delta i, yes, for all delta i which maps like this, okay. What else? Whatever be his true type, right, for all t i and no, mu has to be such that this or this, for all n, yeah, okay, and for all, okay. So, this is this is what is needed. Okay, so so and so what we have that so mu then is a uh, mu is a correlated equilibrium of of the Bayesian game.
if it satisfies incentive compatibility constraints. So, if it satisfies these incentive compatibility constraints, this one then mu is said to be a correlated equilibrium. 